Let's talk about the simple harmonic motion. Now we've got two formulas here. Y is equal to A cosine 2 pi FT and Y is equal to A sine 2 pi FT. Now both of these are are calculated the same way in all these problems where um, the absolute value of A is the amplitude, maximum displacement, and F is the frequency, and 1 over F is the period, and then Y is the displacement and T is the time. Now this note here is what um, tells us to which which formula to use in in like a application problem so forth. It says function 1, which is the cosine, is used if the displacement from the origin is at a maximum at time t equals zero. And um, then function two, the sine, is used if the displacement at time t is equal to zero is zero. Now you don't need to worry about that for the particular homework problems. I'll tell you specifically which, which ones to use, whether to use sine or cosine. But uh, that would be your guide if, if, it, if you weren't told directly. Now let's write these two formulas down. Okay, so I'm going to have y is equal to a cosine, and then we got 2 pi, and then f times t. And then our other one is y is equal to a sine 2 pi times ft. And um, remember your period is equal to 1 over f. Okay, well let's take a look at some uh, problems. Now I'm not going to make them up, I'm just going to work some problems out of the book here. Okay, let's take a look at uh, number two. We got y is equal to two thirds cosine of t over three. Well, it's asking us to find the amplitude, period, and frequency of the simple harmonic motion. You have to have it in this form. So we're going to rewrite this. This will be y is equal to 2 thirds cosine of 1 third t. We want t separate from the number. And then that will be y is equal to 2 thirds cosine. And then we want to have a 2 pi here. So both formulas have to have 2 pi there. Specifically, this is cosine. So then, if I put 2 pi there, I have to put 2 pi in the denominator. And then t. Because going backwards, the 2 pi's would cancel, and I'd end up with 1 over 3. That'll always be that way. If you put 2 pi here, you automatically put 2 pi in the denominator. So then I got 2 thirds cosine 2 pi times 1 over 3 times 2 gives us 6 pi t. And now it matches our form. This is going to be our A. So the absolute value of A would give us positive 2 thirds. That's our amplitude. Now um, notice the form here. 2 times pi, 2 times pi, and then F and T. So this right here is going to be our F. That's our frequency. 1 over 6 pi. Now your period will always be the reciprocal of that. So 1 over 6 pi, this will be 6 pi over 1. Or simply 6 pi. And that would be our amplitude, period, and frequency for that particular particular problem. Um, let's look at, uh, that's already a, a form of cosine 2 pi. Um, let's look at number 6. This is sine. We got y is equal to 2 sine of pi t over 3. And I want to rewrite that. So I'm going to the, put the t to the side. So I got pi over 3 t. Well, we need to have it in the right form. And the proper form says we have to have 2 pi here. So we'll put 2 pi there. But remember, if we put 2 pi out in front, we have to put 2 pi in the denominator. 
and then that'd be t. So that gives us y is equal to 2 sine um, 2 pi times these pi's would cancel and I'd have 1 over 6 t. Now amplitude, that's whatever numbers in front of our sign. So the absolute value of a is going to equal to 2. This is going to be our frequency. So our frequency is 1 over 6. Now our period is a reciprocal of that. Reciprocal of that would be 6 over 1 or simply 6. And those would be your answers. Most of the uh, assignment on this is just um, getting used to working with these different different uh, components. And um, number 10. Frequency is equal to 0 0.8 cycles per second. I'll leave that off. And A is 4. As strange as it seems when you come up with your model, you don't need to worry about those units measure. Now, if you apply that model to actual real-world applications, you would have to worry about it. Now, blah, 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 blah. Assume that the maximum displacement occurs at t is equal to 0. Maximum displacement occurs at t is equal to 0. Okay. Maximum uh, displacement occurs at time t is equal to 0. It says that's function 1. So we're going to use the cosine version. Okay, so we know where we're headed. All these are the cosine, by the way. Um, now, if it says you're assume 0 displacement at t is equal to 0, these are the sine ones. Okay, so we know where we want cosine. And specifically, the form we want is y is equal to a cosine 2 pi times ft. So that's our goal. Well, we're given a and f, so we can plug those into our formula. So we've got y is equal to 4 cosine 2 pi times f, which is 0 0.8 t. So we've got y is equal to 4 cosine 2 pi. Uh, 0.8 is 8 tenths. So I'll write that as 8 over 10. So then we've got y is equal to 4 cosine. I'll multiply these through. 2 times 8 is 16. So we've got 16 pi over 10 t. Which gives us y is equal to 4 cosine. Um, 16 and 10 are both divisible by 2, so that gives us 8 pi over 5 t. And this would be our equation for the simple harmonic motion. Now let's look at number 12. The 12 says the period is 0.6. And A is 1. We're still working with cosine. You need two items in order to build your equation. You need A and F. Well, we're given P. We're given the period, which is 0.6. If I put that into fraction form, that'd be 6 tenths. So that'd be 6 over 10 or 3 fifths. Now, remember the period and the frequency are reciprocals of each other. So, um, since they give us P, then F would just be reciprocal of this, which would be 5 thirds. And now we have what we need to plug into our formula. So, we're, again, we're plugging into this formula. So, A was 1. So, we've got 1 cosine 2 pi times F, which is 5 thirds T. So, we've got Y is equal to cosine 2 pi times 5 gives us 10 pi over 3 T. And that would be your answer. Let me uh, clean off that page now. At least a uh, part of it. And let's take a look at the other one. Look at sine. Now just do one of them because I think you kind of get an idea of those. Um, 
Let's take a look at, um, uh, I don't know, number 14. It says the amplitude is 4 inches, so A is 4. And period is pi over 2. So period is pi over 2. And we said it's, this one's sine because it says assume 0 displacement at T is equal to 0. Okay, so then um, we're going to need A and F. Well, we're given P, but remember, uh, our period and our frequency are reciprocals of each other. So F is going to equal to 2 over pi. So now we're ready to plug them into our formula. We're working with this one this time. So Y is equal to 4 sine 2 pi times F, which is 2 over pi T. So we got Y is equal to 4 sine. The pi's cancel. 2 times 2 is 4, so we got 4T. And that's our answer. Um, I don't think there's anything different about these next ones. Uh, it, now, notice it says assume that the maximum displacement occurs when t is equal to zero. They're telling you use the cosine version on all these. And um, they either give you the frequency or they give you the period. Either way, you need the frequency. So if they give you the period, remember you take a reciprocal of it. Now that's our basic, um, how, do we, how do we set up the equation? 